Your blood-brain barrier has been breached. Alert, alert. Your blood-brain barrier has been breached. How's everyone doing? It's your local lunatic nutjob conspiracy theorist, Mike Martins. Thanks for joining, liking, and being part of the channel. Well, I was kind of slightly blown away when a gentleman called me. Um, and I'm very easy to find. I'm on Skype, and we do Mike in the Night. So a gentleman got in touch with me through a friend to tell him this guy may be someone you might want to talk to. He's never heard of me before and um, calls me up through a friend that knows of me. And we're talking a neurosurgeon here. And a, I call them brain surgeons, of 21 years. So I took a few notes here so don't forget this. Based out of Canada. And I don't want to get into any specifics. And he has told me, alert, alert, urgent, urgent. The blood brain barrier has been breached and he's got ample amount of proof and he went into saying that the mainstream media won't explore this phenomenon very interesting we know why we understand why and if you've been watching mike in the night since day one since 2016 you could see the build-up to this and the predictions that we made that felt that follow through you will see everything on, on how it's been formed and shaped and basically having the playbook. Now, this is the first time he has ever, ever seen in CAT scans, MRIs, and through basic evaluation, starting to see a rare phenomena of early signs of brain damage in a very unseen and undocumented way. So basically he told me he could go through like journals and stuff and try to figure out and piece together a certain diagnostic. He, he spent some time explaining to me going through the diagnostic charge, charts and going through journals and talking to other colleagues and figuring out ah, and going through that and trying to piece together what is happening uh, for a specific, a specific um, patient. But this is very different. He's actually starting to see, like, early signs of brain damage in an unseen way. And it ties in to the video we made, what, two days ago, where there is an uptick in car crashes. There is an uptick in violence. There's an uptick in bizarro behavior. Now... Before you flood my inbox and my Facebook or whatever with, hey, Mike, yeah, my neighbor was cutting his grass naked the other day. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on. Or uh, I get a lot of this naked stuff. Uh, my other, uh, oh, a neighbor of mine, so these are different, different incidents or people messaging me. Leave your, leave your testaments below, just like all the testaments that were left and grow this video. Leave your testaments on what you're seeing through your eyes. Now, he got into this whole mainstream media. He has contacted, obviously, different levels of government to, you know, to to his findings, and they are ignoring him. He's getting outright. The, he's getting the outright cold shoulder. And th 20 years ago, this would be crazy. This would be on the front pages of everything. This would be like, what is going on here? Why are we seeing this? And we would actually connect the dots and get back to the source, which we already know what the source is. And again, you have to go back to episodes of Mike in the Night uh, with Collins from all over the Commonwealth to do that. That's the only, like, I can't go on any platform and talk like we do on Mike in the Night. Okay, so based out of Canada, the blood-brain barrier has been breached in his own words and i'm just referring to a few notes here he's never seen anything so this is the why you're seeing all these bizarro car crashes or people fainting at the wheel or passing out a bus driver what was that bus driver in michigan um started passing out at the wheel and a young healthy looking guy right and you're seeing like head-on collisions people driving in wrong lanes i'm getting it like all the time I don't know if 
the algo is listening to me talking into my phone to you guys. And the algo is telling me that, oh, he wants to see more car crashes. So let's show him more car crashes on social media and on YouTube and on, on, on everywhere. But I don't think that's the case, folks. I don't think that's what's happening. I truly think that we're starting to see early signs of brain damage. And he, he was talking about the different variations he's seeing of it. Uh, again, he's seeing it more. Okay, with CAT scans and MRI, you could see um, just problems. Like, you know, you see the problems, you know, you, you float through it, you see it. But he's saying through basic evaluation, just sitting down and asking basic questions. He is seeing it. Like, just, just to sit down. What's your name? How old are you? Do you smoke? Do you drink? Okay. Like, people are failing their basic evaluation uh, when it comes to asking questions and finding out and diagnosing what people have, right? He says it's almost almost next to impossible to get a CAT scan and MRI. I mean, you have to book it months, if not a year in advance, he says. Um and what else? He went into some very specifics that I, I don't want to mention on here because I don't want him to be, you know, because he's already called several mainstream media outlets because he's already worked with mainstream media outlets before where Dr. Brain, the brain doctor has a solution for your headaches or something. So the mainstream media has worked with him before. Remember, he's been in this for 21 years, right? So, so this is something that we need to start looking out for. Like I'm scared like now to go on major arteries, major highways, major, like it's not that, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go out later. I'm going to take my wife. We're going to go do something. We're going to do stuff and enjoy our days and stuff. It's just the, in the back of the head of these, of these, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, like, yeah, you could you could do what you can when you're on your, you know, you're alert, you're focused, you understand. But what about the brain fog? Yeah, that's one thing he mentioned. The incredible amount of brain fog. And he's saying that that is the brain barrier as it's being breached or being under attack. Uh, it's, cause, it's causing some molecular structure breakdown. In the brims, how did he say it? The brims of the brain or the brims or the edges of the brain, which he named out for me. And I don't want to be too specific with this. I asked him, would you like to come on Mike in the Night and call in? We've been doing this since 2016. Do you want to call in? He's like, I would love to. I would even instruct someone on what to say to call in. But he's just, he's just worried now. Like worried where nothing is being looked at seriously. And that's what happens when you do have socialized medicine. We've been talking about this whole socialized medicine phenomenon on the channel for over 10 years here in Canada, right? Where people in the States say, yeah, you got free health care. But at what cost do we have free health care at? Right? So blood brain barrier has been breached. Okay, guys, I keep talking about... I keep getting emails. People saying they can't find me on Mike of the Night on Odyssey. Guys, we'll be restreaming on Odyssey through a multi-stream platform. If you want to find out what's going on or really going on, tune into our show. I have a, I have a, I have a Mother Abigail is going to call into Mike of the Night this Saturday, uh, a frontline nurse uh, down in Arizona. Right here, go to realmikemartins.com. We're getting reports that the, the uh, website is being blocked in the UK. Can you see if it's working? You could add me on Skype there. And then if you'd like to, you could um, you could donate to us if you want on DonorBox. And there's a lot of things on here. So if you go into here, and I've been doing this for you guys all day long here at the store. I've been bringing back episodes. There's episode 500 of Mike of the Night. I've actually been bringing episodes of Mike of the Night back uh, here to the website. So you guys could see all the call-ins and specific discussions we've had that you are not allowed to hear on other platforms. So if you guys want to check it out, it's here. Again, I've been working really hard bringing back all these episodes, and I would appreciate uh, you know you guys checking it out. And we're on Rumble and Odyssey if you guys want. There's what the channel looks like. If you want to subscribe there, go ahead. Folks, share this video. Get this out there. I'm just a small-time Portuguese-Canadian guy in his little toy store. 
kind of just out there trying to make sense of everything all these years. And um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Leave your testimony. Hey, am I just losing my mind? Am I just not focused? Like, am I just looking for things that are not there to connect dots that don't exist? I look forward to hearing your comments and testimonies below. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.